Yo, welcome guys to the fifth video of the series where I will teach you how to defeat all the dungeons in Throne and Liberty. And today we are looking at Butcher's Canyon. This dungeon is mostly farmed from the DPS side for the Crate Sword, which is giving melee heavy attack, which is really valuable, and is giving the best stat for Crate Sword cooldown speed reduction. When you spawn, you will have to instantly kill one big guy, activate his pouch and then gather your team for an elevator ride. Please don't leave anyone behind here, it takes a long time to ride that thing and it's really frustrating if you have to wait on the bottom. The old exploits for this dungeon all got fixed, so in the first area you will have to clear the mobs. You will also get introduced here to the first mechanic. It's a burning sheep which orc shapeshifters can transform a party member in. There are two ways to get rid of it. The first one is significantly reducing your DPS uptime, so only use it if no other way is left. Before we jump into the boss mechanics, let me show you what I have lately started using to improve my ping on the Korean servers. I went from this to that by basically pressing one button. With gear booster I was able to reduce my ping by almost 95 milliseconds. This makes a huge difference in being able to dodge and block dungeon boss attacks. I am not losing packets anymore and my ping is stable and stopped spiking. Gear Booster is safe to use to connect to the Korean servers. If you can't wait until September 17th when the global release is hitting, following the link in the description and signing up for a 3 day free trial. For this method, you will have to pass the sheep along multiple of your members to unbind the curse. So don't run away from the sheep and be scared. Get to it for a fast trading. But the fastest way is actually killing a shapeshifter. He will then leave a blue circle behind that instantly removes the sheep is stepping in. The next two mini bosses have no other mechanic than the sheep, so really easy. In the third part after the bridge, it's the first time where you can skip mobs. You will only need to kill the three guys that are connected by this beam in the middle. This little puzzle is easily solved by CC. If you break the beam by CCing two of them, you can easily kill off the other one and so on. CC has to be hard CC, like stun, silence or the Medusa like turn someone into stone skill from the staff. If you have no CC on your skill bar for whatever reason, just pick up a white staff for your inventory and switch to cast Icebound Tomb quickly. This is the easiest skill to time. Congratulations, you've made it to the boss. The fight here starts with multiple fury attacks you have to block, as well as fire AoEs that he layers on the ground and you have to dodge. He can also transform people in sheep. If he does so, you will find a shapeshifter waiting outside and your team has to kill it so the sheep person can just run inside and transform. Core mechanic is a pull that draws all members to the boss. One member will then be bound. It's only a bind so you can continue DPSing. The healer will remove the CC on his friend and then all morph and escape the burning circle by jumping over the flames. Afterwards he does a one-shot mechanic. Once it's done you want to rush in as fast as possible. Duke Magna will take a knee and not fight back for a short amount of time and this is your opportunity to finish him off. And then you're able to to loot his chest for 300 dimensional contract tokens. That's it with the video. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will answer everything as always in 24 hours. Cheers, guys.